So here's the project, 1939 Larson Utility, and the plan is to electrify it. Of it, and ready for some uh, mock-ups. I put a temporary shaft extension on there, and the nine-inch motor I've got uh, that is depicted with a little piece of cardboard. The motor mounts. Uh, will look something like this. The first uh, motor mount mock-up is in place. So there will be two of these to support each end of the new motor. Starting the mock-up of the forward mount. Instead of bump like this, so now I just need to do the uh, motor mounts like the other ones. The forward uh, motor mount is roughed in. So now I need to make the rear motor mount. It'll be of similar design. There's a location of the bracket for the original throttle. So I now have the uh, plywood sheets fitted uh, where they need to go so that will be the mock-up for the aluminum plates and uh, that will pretty much be the next step is to get the plates and start uh, cutting them to the right size. Here's my test setup and trying to uh, figure out the bolt holes for the uh, motor. This adapter plate was uh, what connected the motor to the original 4-speed transmission uh, when it was installed in the uh, Chevy Blazer. Now I've got my uh, plywood plate clamped to the my uh, guide that I'm using for making the uh, holes. And they'll match up perfectly with the uh, motor. And here's the new aluminum that'll go in. Got two half inch plates for the motor mount and a quarter inch plate to go over the motor where I can mount the speed controller. Making some progress, drilling holes. First plate is uh, mounted. Second plate will require a lot more drilling. It will look like this, and then also this will be bolted to the front of it. And the thrust bearing will go uh, on the end of this piece to transfer the thrust from the prop to the hull. The brackets are all uh, drilled and cut and mounted and I've got a chain mounted to help me uh, hoist the thing into the boat. It is kind of heavy. Okay, time to uh, hoist the motor up. Got a tie to a tree. That works pretty good. And there's the motor installed. It would appear that it lines up uh, pretty good here. There'll be minor adjustments before I uh, I bolt down, uh, bolt the motor down, but uh, should be all right. Yeah, she leaks a little bit, to be expected.
See if we can get this to seal up in a while. Motor controller uh, mounted on top of the motor. Got my reversing circuit using the large contactors. My little test rig set up here. I'll see if she goes. That looks good. It goes the other way. Perfect. Okay, I've been working for about two weeks on my project here and putting the uh, boat motor, electric motor in the boat. So I'm gonna do a little uh, first test to run in the prop shaft. First we'll start up the inverter. Let that initialize. And we'll see what it does. It works. So right now I'm only testing it with the uh, with a 12 volt battery. So I'm not getting very many RPMs, obviously, but uh, it does test out good. But here's my reverser circuit. The relays, two of them click on, and the other two they switch off uh, when I want it to uh, change direction. Still quite a bit of water coming in, but uh, the build bilge pump is doing its job. Quite a bit of water coming around the prop shaft. You need to re-grease that pitting. Assembling some battery packs. These are uh, 90 amp hour packs with uh, remaining capacity of I think 72 amps is the lowest. making easy to move uh, modules so I can move them around in the boat to get the optimal uh, weight distribution. This shows how much they've swelled. Now let me get these straps on here and then we'll see what happens. I pulled the nested together. So I have my battery packs in here now that I'm adjusting forward and aft to see what the best uh, weight distribution is. But it seems like it doesn't make a huge bit of difference. But I will hook all these up and then be soon be ready for uh, the first trial run.